What is up everybody, Moritz here from Sections to once again and today I'm going to be showing you how you can rebuild this testimonial section right here. It's going to be done in a few easy steps and you can still customize it to your liking so you don't have to worry about that. And I'd say we just get right into it. The first thing I did for this is what I had, I had added on over to the Shopify app store where I did get the section store app. Section Store is a component library with over 200 fully customizable Shopify exclusive components. And even after installing one of the sections, you can simply deinstall the app afterwards and remain with the section itself. So it's going to keep your store fast and still looking nice. So it's already two nice benefits of it. Okay. If we navigate on over, that is not the one I'm looking for. That is actually the one. Sorry for the little break. That is the one we're going to be looking at today. Testimonial 10 it does come with a small fee of $9. It means if you bought it once, you will also own it forever. There are no hidden subscription fees. You can customize it to your likings and you know, it's going to need an expensive developer to do all that for you. So I think at the end of the day, $9 is a pretty good deal. Okay. Before we can actually use the section after the purchase, we have to back uh, head back to the my sections area of the app and that's where we're going to add it to the theme we're using in my case it's the dawn live theme and then simply just open it up right here it does work on every theme though we made sure of that so don't worry about that and here you can already see the one you saw in the beginning of the video and i'm just gonna get rid of this one real quick so we're gonna save it up and start completely from scratch so we're going to look for testimonial 10. That is the one should appear right here. Let's give it a little save like that. We can make sure we're not going to run into any errors. The first thing I would like to do is of course, put an image into every single one of those here. We could change the star count as well. So if we only want to have four in that one to make it a bit more realistic and I'm just going to keep the text the same to not take up too much of your time, but I think you get the concept. If we would want to add that instead of best glow, we can do best version of myself and it's going to update life. And yeah, let's just simply chuck a few more pictures in there so we can round this up and customize the whole thing to our likings. So we're going to put that one in there and the last one is going to be that one. Check. Perfect. That is looking good. Let's see if it works. That is looking nice. Of course it is working on mobile as well. You can see it is working with those little dots right here. We can also add some errors and I'll show you that in a second. All the customizations which relate to the whole block are getting done. If you click on this main block right here. So here you can see already, we can decide how much vertical padding we have. U plus us. What do you think about us? And it's getting wrapped around. That is looking good. We can use a custom font as well. Decide how big it's going to be. And yeah, pretty much all the texts on here are changeable. We can decide how much gap there's going to be in between those sliders. We can see how much sliders we want to have per view as well. So let's just save it up and see if it's going to get integrated. And that is looking nice to me. Image settings are changeable too. We can change the border radius. So now it's getting a bit more round and the stars icon is something we could change as well. Maybe we want to pick a little diamond right here. And it's going to get changed to the diamond. Let's save it up again. And that is looking good. Let's just get rid of this one. And that's looking fine to me. And now I want to change some more colors. So if I click on that and scroll all the way down, you can see right here, there's a lot of things we can change. I also want to show those arrows on mobile. So if I switch to mobile now, the navigation is a lot easier with those. And here I want to show the dots as well on desktop. So we can also navigate that a little bit nicer. And yeah, uh, 
one last thing I would like to do is changing the text color to brown and the offer color to yellow so that is standing out a bit more and then the main headline I would like to have in that yellow as well that is looking nice let's save it up and have a final look at it in the live version give this a little reload and have a look at the new version that is looking good in my opinion we got those little arrows right here if you would add more they would come into function but yeah all the colors we did got changed as well and that is looking pretty nice if you have any questions about that just always feel free to reach out to me in the comment section and if you liked it leave a like and a follow and with that being said, have a good one and peace out.